Now I'm going to be talking about variable measurement scales. So there are four data types of measured variables. There's nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio. And as you move downwards in that list, the data you're collecting starts to contain more information. And that, that might not make sense now, but as we get into it, it'll start to make more sense. Which brings me up to, why does it even matter? Why does it matter? Well, different types of data allow us to do different types of data analysis. In the future, knowing these four different types of data is going to be very important because it's going to guide what kind of tests we perform. So first of all, there's nominal data. Nominal data, which you know, also might be known as qualitative or categorical data, is data that is split into categories. For example, what kind of data would you collect if you were collecting data for the variable color? you would end up with information like red, green, blue, and so on. This qualitative information is called nominal data. Next we have ordinal data. Ordinal data is data where order matters, but the distance between values does not. For example, imagine there are three people in a race. One person finishes in first, one in second, and the other one in third. This data can be placed in order, but we can't necessarily measure the distance between any two values. Like maybe first place finished 4 seconds ahead of second place, and second place finished 19 seconds ahead of third place. So those three values are in order, but we can't really measure the distance between those things. And then that brings us to interval. Interval data is data where order matters, and the distances between values are equal and meaningful but there is no natural zero. So let me show you. For example, temperature is interval data. The distance between 10 degrees and 20 degrees is 10 degrees. The distance between 80 degrees and 90 degrees is 10 degrees. The scale at any given point is constant, but it's also not possible to have a measurement of zero degrees Fahrenheit. And that brings me to ratio. Ratio data is data where order matters, where the distances between values are equal and meaningful, and where there is a natural zero present. Like for example, weight is ratio data. The distance between 140 and 155 is 15 pounds. The distance between 280 and 295 is 15 pounds. The scale at any given point is constant, and also it's possible to have a measurement of zero pounds. There is a natural zero. And that's all you need to know from this lecture. Know how to distinguish between the four different types of data.